friends welcome to my workplace at Ranaghat West Bengal India this is a white hypermature sclerotic cataract in this case the epinucleus has degenerated into a white homogeneous cart like material we'll see that later there is no milky fluid and these cases can be called hypermature sclerotic cataract I have taken up this case for surgery. Let us observe the surgical steps. By this time all the incisions have been made. Now this is an air bubble. I want to stain the anterior capsule with tripe and blue dye underneath then this air bubble. And this is the dye. The dye is applied on all parts of the anterior capsule. There should not be skipped areas. And now, this is a bit of adrenaline. The pupil is dilated quite well, but it may get small during surgery. So I'm using some amount of adrenaline, which is preservative free. This may help in surgery. Now the dye is washed out. Enough staining has occurred within this very short period of 10-12 seconds. And now this is 2% hydroxypropyl methyl cellulose. You can see a rim of white area around this stained capsule. This is because of viscoelastic substance. Now the anti-capsule has been incised to the 26 case bent needle and this big flap has been raised. Now I take the iterata forceps, lift the anterior leaf of the main incision, go all around, remain at a little distance away from the margin of the pupil idea is not to touch the iris and this has been a very satisfactory uh, adequate sized axis. Now I am going just under the anterior capsular rim. I am very much careful not to touch the iris. Now I see that the nucleus is rotating nicely. Visco is injected again and now is the time to introduce the tip of the FECO handpiece. The machine being used is Oatly Catrix 3. It's a beautiful machine and Here it is. The teeth goes first bevel down. This is a totally unedited surgery. This part. The you can see now the superficial card like homogeneous material. This is degenerated epinucleus and we'll, in a very short time you will see a big chunk of it. The bury the teeth completely, go for a distance and chop the nucleus. I call it submarine chop. Rotate the nucleus 180 degree sculpt on or twice, go to a deeper plane, hold the hemineucleus on the right side and separate the nucleus into two halves. Now again subdivide each hemineucleus into two parts and you can see here a big chunk of 
homogeneous epinucleus card like this is the sign of hypermature sclerotic cataract in morganian it becomes milky fluid in sclerotic cataract there is no fluid the epinucleus just becomes a white homogeneous sheet without any fibers now with the help of ultrasonic energy the nuclear fragments are being emulsified in this case the ultrasonic energy is 75 percent the nucleus is not very soft it is quite hard you can say hardness is that of grade 4 or grade 3 plus and now this is the last portion of the lens matter at this time I remove the chopper and the chamber becomes more stable and I complete the case and now rest of the surgery is being edited to shorten the time cortical cleanup has been done and now this is hydro implantation of a hydrophilic monofocal single piece intraocular lens just by a tap of the left hand instrument the lens goes into the capsular bag and now whatever visco was there in the lumen of the cartis is irrigated out by the irrigating probe itself so in this case we have seen a white homogeneous sheet of epinucleus degenerated epinucleus you can say this is the sign of hypermature sclerotic cataract in hypermature morganian cataract as soon as you make a puncture onto the anterior capsule milky fluid comes out which you have to aspirate to see clearly but in hypermature sclerotic cataract there is no milky fluid but the epinucleus has degenerated into a white homogeneous sheet and now these side ports are hydrated nicely so that these stab wounds close and become watertight and then a final lavage of the anterior chamber is done injecting moxifloxacin is your choice but I injected a little earlier not at the as the last stage and last stage is final AC lavage thank you very much for your attention hope this video will help you in developing your surgical skills be a great surgeon and serve the mankind with love respect compassion and great competence